Hey guys, check it out. We got the SH Figure Arts Berserk Nosferatu Sod. So, Nosferatu Sod is finally joining the SH Figure Arts line. Obviously, we already saw in the flash a couple shows ago, a couple months ago. And, but this time we have the pre-order date and the release date. Now, this is going to be a premium band exclusive. So, on the 20th, 2024 of September, you're going to be able to place your pre-order if you live in Japan. Yes, if you live outside Japan, then you have to pray and hope that Premium Bandai's US web store has it up for pre-order. But they might or they might not. That's just how it goes. And also, you're probably going to be paying twice as much. Now, as you guys can see, the release date is going to be May 2025. And the pricing is 14000 850 yen that is around 103 us dollars remember you have to add 10 percent plus shipping and handling and i cannot give you the shipping and handling because that is depending on your country and what carrier you're using all that i know that for this figure if i were to you us with fedex it will probably be 35 bucks to get it in three days um i don't know what options premium bandai gives you from their us web store i don't know um but i gotta say nosferatu side looks awesome it looks great because he looks <laughs> not only does he look big he has his sword he has his axe he has a fabric cape which looks great it looks like real fur pretty sure it's not and here we go made of pvc and abs and it's standing at 200 millimeters tall so how tall is that that is 7.8 inches tall so almost eight inches and here you can see boom how tall he is compared to guts now you can see that even with Dragon Slayer, the hill to Dragon Slayer, all the way up here, it only gets to the forehead. So that, well, to the eyebrows, actually. Darn. So he's pretty tall. I know some people are going to be like, ah, oh, he should be a little bit taller. I, I can understand that. But let's face it. If, if they made it uh, make him a bit taller, he would be even more expensive. By the way, I know people ask me about this link. Why I don't give it out is because this is only for Japan. This is only for Japan. So unless you live in Japan or you have a friend that that lives in Japan that can actually place the order for you, then this link is useful. But if you don't, then it's not. It's not as soon until and, and trust me, I have tried it as soon as you place the order for this and the shipping information is outside of Japan, it gets canceled. So you're not getting it like that. No, you have to go to a third party website um, where you could get it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is 103 US dollars without the shipping. So with let's say big bad toy store they're probably gonna charge you 200 bucks for this easy and and if you think big bad toy store won't do it i suggest you do this look up the shongoki liger zero armor armor set they the band i charge 120 now it, it never made its way to premium bandai's uh, us web store but they charge 120, right? Big Bad Toy, Toy Store wanted 420 US dollars for the armors alone. No Liger included. Which is crazy. But they do. Sometimes. So, the scope looks great. I love the hair separation. It has a lot of the beady red eyes. And that grin. The scar here. Big arms. The muscles. With the veins popping out, the sword looks awesome, looks sharp, it has some damage on it. It has the scabbard here. 
the loin cloths look good again the fabric cape that he has with the wires inside it that looks awesome and man even the harness here that he has for the chest and the belt looks great check out those faces you have the normal look you have a pretty pissed off one with those vampire teeth there and again check out the scar the scar here looks amazing and it, it looks so darn good even comes with the cross arms you get the axe as well that's awesome the articulation looks to be pretty darn solid check that out he looks so badass that's gonna look so awesome fighting against guts Overall, this figure is really turning out to be something amazing. I mean, the paint job, the sculpting looks great. At least for, you know, the the one we're seeing here. We, we all know what can happen with these figures and with their quality control. So, yeah. But it's awesome. It's awesome. I love what they did here with it. I would love to get my hands on it. But sadly, ah. Uh, that's already out of my price range right now because I already have quite a lot of stuff pre-ordered and the thing is that yeah this comes out later but it's a premium banda exclusive so meaning that I'm probably gonna have to pay twice to get it and I don't know uh, May is a month that I'm also waiting I think get no Gandorf comes out uh, June yeah June or July yeah so yeah it's probably not gonna be worth it if I try to get my hands on it. But he looks awesome. He looks awesome. And next to Guts, man. Oof. Look at that. You can just see how much more work they put into Nosferatu than they did to Guts. Because even Guts, are like, even his skin stone. And by the way, I do own this Guts and I do own the Heat of the Passion one. So I own both of them. I also own Griffin so it, it's cool it's cool you can you can just see how much more work they put into it just like they did with ace you know compared to the other um characters from one piece that they have released and it's crazy you know it's crazy it looks great but you know the pricing being a premium band i all that stuff that's the bad thing, you know, that's that's what's gonna happen. But other than that, man, if you're lucky enough to get it, you're probably gonna love it. Minor gripes, how they did the cuts here, in here, and the knees a little bit. That's the only gripe that I have with it. The rest of this figure is just awesome. Just awesome. You're probably gonna, if you're able to get it, you're gonna love it. <laughs> you're really gonna love it. Now, the question is... Will Skull Knight, if when they come out with Skull Knight, will he also be a Premium Banda exclusive? And I think it, the answer is yes. I think they're going to make him a Premium Banda exclusive. And I know what you're thinking, Zero. Do you think they will make the freaking transformation, the true form? I think yes. I think yes, I think they will, but I think they're gonna do it like Good Smile did with a pop-up parade. You know, they just released a statue. I think they're gonna do it in their bigger art zero line, and I think what they are probably gonna do is give you just the from mid section up, and what they can do there is maybe make it so the arms and the head are articulated but not the rest of the figure um i think they could do it like that so that way it's big enough so guts can fit on him on his back you know obviously they have to give you the wings as well i think that's the way that they can do it but maybe they'll just do the same as pop up or just give you that version and that's it you could do that so we'll have to wait and see uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time